hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this eighth video of joint products and byproduct chapter we are going to understand how do we have to choose a method to apportion the joint cost to the joint products but now before discussing this any further let me just tell you that in the previous seven videos of this chapter we have discussed so many things first we understood the concept of this chapter yeah we got a brief overview and then in the following videos what we did was we saw each of the methods of apportioning the joint cost to the joint products and solved a problem with that yeah all the methods are covered now of this playlist right now four videos are free to watch and then the remaining three videos three videos are what under silver club okay reverse cost method and then uh, contribution margin method constant margin method yeah to watch these you have to join the silver club then only you'll be able to watch that and also get the notes okay right so now let's get back to this video and understand how do we have to do this now see here how simple it is to choose a method for apportioning the joint cost to joint products basically you can get two type of question in the exam the first is silent question the question will be completely silent the question will not tell you what kind of method you have to apply okay so you have to put your mind to work over here yeah you have to take the decision but here it's not like that in the second type see here method is specified in the question the question will specifically ask you for specific method the question will ask for for example let's just say apply nrv method apply average unit cost method apply physical unit method then what you have to do you just have to do the mechanical work okay don't put your mind into this just apply just do whatever they are saying in the second type of question really simple and straightforward but in silent question there is a problem yeah here you have to take the decision you have to take the responsibility isn't it yes so how are we going to do this really simple you have to look for the hints okay and take those hints see here the first case is joint cost segregation is given into variable cost and fixed cost for example 5000 joint cost is given and they have said that 2500 of that is variable and 2500 of that is fixed in this case you have to understand examiner wants me to apply contribution margin method because in contribution margin method only you know uh, this segregation is important isn't it yes so you have to apply if you apply some other method let's just say you applied reverse cost or some other method then you are gone you can't do that not reverse cost you cannot apply reverse cost without profit percentages but let's just say you applied nrv you will lose marks yeah segregation is given apply contribution margin only fine okay fine we got that then let's just say you have a question and profit percentages of each joint products are given in that question okay profit margins are given then you have to immediately understand profit percentages are useful only in which method in reverse cost method yeah so you have to apply reverse cost method is it okay all right and then let's just say no hints are given at all okay segregation is also not given and this profit percentages are also not given so you cannot apply contribution margin you cannot apply reverse cost so there are no hints available so what are you going to do you have two options over here okay nrv and sales value at split off but understand how you have to go about this you will apply nrv net realizable value method only if all joint products are further processed okay let's just say you have joint products a b c a plus b plus c plus all are further processed then only you will apply nrv okay in silent question no hints in this case is it clear and if all products are not further processed let's just say a became a plus b became b plus and c remained c only yeah c was not further processed then in that case and you will see this in the ici study material as well as you know in the past papers always what ici has done is they have applied this method sales value at split off point method okay so you will apply this sales value at split off point method is it clear all products are further processed then apply nrv if all products are not further processed then apply sales value at split off point method okay split off separation point is it clear simple so you understood this is how you have to go about this now what all methods we covered right now we covered this sales value at split off nrv and then reverse cost and contribution margin so which methods are left constant gross margin sales value after further processing 
average unit cost and physical unit method isn't it so see here methods left constant gross margin method now see here by default always remember by default whenever profit percentages are given whenever profit percentages are given then you always have to apply reverse cost method okay always apply reverse cost method but if the question specifically asks for constant gross margin then only apply constant gross margin okay otherwise just don't go on you know calculating that constant percentage and applying that uh, backward calculation i mean reverse cost method you know now how you have to apply this constant gross margin what you have to do over here first you have to find out constant percentage and then use that constant percentage in the reverse cost method calculation only so reverse cost method and constant gross margin method are you know complete 99 percent same only here different percentages are there here constant percentage is there yeah so always remember by default whenever profit percentages are given you will directly apply reverse cost okay fine so constant gross margin method is not not applied okay never applied in silent question in silent question fine then we have second see here sales value after further processing now see here sales value after further processing is you know what do you say nrv is better than this one yeah nrv so that is why when all products are further processed when all joint products are further processed it is better to apply nrv than sales value after further processing so this method is also discouraged to apply okay this method is not applied okay nrv is better na so nrv you have to apply in silent question is it clear okay and then we have physical unit method and average unit cost method now see these two methods are a bit illogical you know physical unit method and average unit cost method they don't show the true picture so that is why you have to never apply these two methods physical unit and average unit cost method okay never means what you can apply them when question ask for it in the second type question is specifically asking for physical unit then you have to do that otherwise you will lose marks but on your own on your own in silent question you will not apply these two methods physical unit and average unit cost method okay never apply them what you will do if these hints are available you will do this if no hints are available then nrv if all joint products are further processed if all products are not further processed then sales value at split off point method okay and then constant gross margin not applied sales value after further processing you will not apply this because nrv is better physical unit and average unit cost never never don't apply this is it clear so this is how you have to go about this fine okay you got this right so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye